Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 RBS. This particular beauty behind me is in the crimson interior and also has the woody package, which is part of what you see right here on the outside. If you're not familiar with the Vintage Cruiser, one of the things I love about it is it gives you that vintage look and feel, but it has all the modern amenities to make camping nice and easy for you. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those features on the outside. One of them is this right here, which is your powered tongue jack. Just touch the button to raise the tongue up and down, and then you also have a light right there up front in case you want uh, to be able to hook up or disconnect at night. Right behind that, you have your propane tanks with your cover here. Two 20 pound tanks, easy to get to. Just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access to those tanks. Behind the cover, you will see you have rails there for your battery, and then underneath is a tube for your sewer hose. Coming up the front right here is diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way, hopefully it hits this diamond plating and doesn't scratch or beat up your beautiful front end here. One of the cool things about the Vintage Cruiser when it comes to construction, this is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up top and down the back. So you have a fiberglass roof on there, which is great. One of the other big advantages of having the one piece is you don't have a seam going across. And as you know, water intrusion from the roof is one of the biggest enemies of travel trailers. So the less seams and holes you have to have up there, the less chance water will get in. Also, because of the natural curvature, the water will run to the front and back, keeping your uh, campsite a little bit drier. And again, you don't have the seams there. So, uh, well, you know, just again, less chance for water getting in. Come around to the side right here, a couple things I want to point out. One is this, this unit is solar prepped. So again, you know, has those great modern amenities. If you want solar, all you have to do is buy the ZAMP panel here. It's a portable panel, has the uh, controller built into it. Plug it in right there and it will trickle charge your batteries. Nice big pass through compartment. It is a slam latch. It also has a covered hinge on here so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. And it's magnetic. You just put it up there and forget about it. If you take a look right in here, you can see how nice and big this pass-through is. So if you do have some larger items here, you'll notice that on the campsite you have this larger door so you can fit some of those wider chairs and other items in there. Not only do they give you a power tongue jack, they also give you a power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. LED light strip there underneath. And you will also notice in the head of the awning, there are speakers built in. That way when your awning is extended, the speakers will be playing down on your campsite rather than out at your neighbors. Also, the awning does have an adjustable pitch, so if you need to dump rain or anything like that, it is still easy to do that. Right here is the main entrance into the coach. You'll see you do have two steps. That is something that they changed on the late 2017 models, kind of going into the 2018 model year. It used to be you had one step here and then a big cutout uh, when you enter the coach, but they found that you know, people are hurting themselves in the middle of the night. So they went to the two steps, definitely a better idea. And this is why they, you know, again, why they call it the Woody package. If you're familiar with some of the, uh, you know, the older station wagons, they had the big wood strip down the side, it was nicknamed, got the moniker Woody. And that's uh, kind of what they did here. So again, giving you that vintage look and feel. Outside TV bracket. If you do want a TV, great. Uh, the bracket inside actually just comes right out with the arm and everything. You can slide it in right there. You'll have outside TV. Your hookups for that are right over here. Right down below, you'll see you have nice white walls there. Cool looking tire. Uh, also, they are easy lube axles. Nitrogen filled tire there as well. There is a cover that goes over that. Just hasn't been installed because we just got this one in. Make our way around to the back here. One of the things I do like they've also added is this right here, which is backup camera prep. It's not a huge travel trailer, but you know, it's uh, if you don't have a spotter or you're not very familiar with backing up, maybe this is your first travel trailer you're looking at getting, having that backup camera can be quite advantageous. Also, by having it pre-wired, it's a lot easier and less expensive to have installed. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 RBS. As I mentioned, this unit has the crimson interior and also has the woody package, which you can see in the wood grain here itself. 
We take a look over on the side. One of the things I love about this floor plan is the fact you have a campsite dinette. I love when manufacturers do this because this is where you'll be eating your breakfast, having your coffee, playing games, and you have a great view right out the nice big window here to your campsite. Of course, the window opens up as well, get a nice breeze coming through the coach. The dinette does drop down into a bed if you need some extra sleeping space. You can just remove the legs right here. The table itself will sit down right along these rails and you can take the back cushions like I have here, put it on top of the table and that will create that extra uh, sleeping area. Also underneath here you will notice there is an electrical outlet. So if you need to do some work on a laptop or tablet, you have a place in which you can plug that in. You'll see lights right here up above as well as LED lights here. You actually have LED lights on the entire ceiling which are great because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the energy. Uh, you have some extra storage right there up top. Great place for some extra little uh, decorations or some lightweight items. And then right here you'll see you also have good additional storage. This is your multimedia center. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like they put this in here again, you know, kind of going along the lines of having some of those modern amenities. This is one of them here. This is what controls your speakers outside as well as in here. It's a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, it's actually already pre-wired right over here, uh, which is where your TV will go. Then this unit is Bluetooth capable as well. You can see your thermostat right over here. Again, additional lighting to make it nice and bright. The bathroom in the 19 RBS is nice and spacious. We'll start right over here with the Neo Angle shower. You'll see it has the uh, glass shower enclosure on there, hand wand, plenty of shelves, and then you also have the skylight. Right over here is your toilet, uh, foot flush lever toilet there, plenty of leg room all the way around. Right above that, nice little linen closet for your uh, extra toilet paper, your towels, everything else you need to put in there. Cubby hole here, electrical outlet, and a shelf. Right up top, you'll see you have a nice big exhaust fan, so uh, that way any moisture that's in here will quickly escape. Over across the way is the mirrored medicine cabinet, good storage behind that. Your sink and countertop, and look how much countertop space you have in here. Perfect for, you know, if you want to put some soap up here, your toothbrush, curling iron, hair dryer, whatever else you have space for it. Also, uh, electrical outlet there and some additional storage here underneath. Now one of the great things about having a big bathroom is it does allow you to get changed and they make it even easier by giving you a nice large wardrobe there, so good hanging space. And right there underneath you can see you have some additional space, so if you want to put you know, even more towels or whatever else right in there, it's easy to do that. So we move into the kitchen, one of the things I love that they did here is they gave you matching panels. It has that nice crimson red on there, which again gives you that vintage feel of the camper. So we take a look in here, uh, you know this is your, your standard refrigerator freezer by Dometic. Great space in there, nice cutout right over here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. We briefly looked at this a little bit earlier. This is all of your TV connections here for your cable, um, you know, for your uh, booster right there. You can see you have electrical outlet, dual USB here, and these are your audio video cables that are connected to the multimedia center. Right over here is your tank monitoring panel. So if you need to keep an eye on your black or gray tank, this is where you can do it. And then this is, of course, your TV mount. And as I mentioned, we were outside. This does remove this whole thing right here, pulls up and off this whole arm. You can take that outside and hook it up right over there. Uh, moving into the rest of the kitchen, you'll see even though you don't have a very big countertop space, it is usable because what they do is they give you a cooktop cover as well as dual sink top covers here. The cooktop cover does fold back just like so, revealing the three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one there is high output. And then underneath you have a decent size oven in case you want to do some baking. Right next to that is our dual uh, bowl sink here. If I take that off, you'll see you have the larger bowl there on the left, smaller one on the right. And both of these are cutting board quality. So if you want to flip them over and use it as cutting boards, you can do that high-rise faucet there as well to make it easy to wash and rinse dishes and then right over here you will see big storage underneath uh, if we take a look up top you'll notice your uh, stainless steel fan right over here or your hood rather with a fan and a light your microwave there storage off to the side here but not only do you have that storage take a look at this you have really nice storage 
uh, next to your oven and cooktop, two large pull-out drawers here as well. In the nose of the 19 RBS, you have your walk-around queen-size bed here, and it does come with the vintage comforter as well as the pillow sham. So, uh, you know, that's something you normally don't get, and again, it really helps pull that look together. You can see that station wagon with the, the wood on the side, as I had mentioned when we were outside. On both sides here, you also have wardrobe space, so you have additional space to hang your clothes, uh, you know, more so than what is just in the bathroom there storage right up top you can see that there and you have lights here underneath if you push it once you get like this blue uh, kind of accent light and then if you push it and hold it you will get the reading light in case you want to read at night you also notice you have windows on both sides so you can have a nice cross breeze this one is an emergency exit and then you also have curtains here that you can close off in case you have a guest that is sleeping on the dinette but all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 RBS. This one is in the crimson red interior and has the woody package. If you are interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.